Hey guys, what's going on? It's Troy for your back with a new video. Today we are flying Journey to the USA, Manchester to Boston in the Dasher. So, wish you luck starting this aircraft by myself to start it. First things first, let me release that parking week because I know I'm guaranteed to forget it. So, let me just first do that. We will get into ATC. I'm not even recording on my game yet. Let me turn on that. That would be nice. Um. So yeah, let, let's get into it. So we are in our game now, and now we should be all trying to find the battery system, which I know it's all the way up, which sucks that I can't really go and I have to do it to sorter, but it works. Battery, battery, battery. Uh, oh wait, I remember this now. I have to do this control E thingy, so. And now I have access to your batteries. We just did battery. Battery is on. Now she's going to do system checks. Right? Okay, before it starts up the prop. There it is. Taxing out of here is it harder? I think. So I'm going to do something I call double push jack, which I'm going to get one push jack first, and then I'm going to do another push jack. Um, it's going to be much easier if I can get double push jack going so that I have more turning radius. So we're going to do double push jack, as they call it. So that's what we're going to do. Pause system test is okay. Everything's okay right now, except for. Well, I'm just going to test the engine. Engine test. Okay. Alright, we are on the grass right now, which, which see, are we? Yeah, we are, apparently. I didn't realize grass taxing was something that we could do, but, okay. Okay, now we need to get off this runway, because now we're on runway, so we're on runway property. Property, so I'm going to get off this runway, and that's it. I'm going to go on the grass again. I know I shouldn't be on the grass, guys, just like you guys are. But I think I'm being on the grass trying to be funny. No, I'm getting the answer. I'm trying to. Oh, wait. I have to go this way. Oh, shoot. No, I'm going the wrong way. Well, that worked. All that shortcut to find out that wasn't needed. I was going the wrong way. Well, yes, that works, guys. We'll work with it. Oh, our runway, our departure is that way, apparently. Whatever. Whatever. Well, we'll figure it out, guys. It's all good. Our departure is all good, guys. We'll fix it one now. We're all good with that. This is Manchester Airport, by the way. Uh, very entertaining. And I love the wing view out of the cockpit. Are we? Why are we speeding up? My airspeed's decreasing. That's good. We're gonna hold short, and then we should be clear for takeoff. Oh, we're going over Manchester China. Tower,
Earth glow. Airspeed is alive. V1, rotate. Pause it right here. Up. That's the one, right? Yeah, I hope I didn't deploy flaps instead. Also guys, just so you know, some videos are going to be longer, um, by the way, just so you know, starting next week, I might do two flights in one video, or I might stick with one. It's just a speed up journey video, so I don't want to continue that until 2023. Um, my next one will be Journey of Canada. Um, journey, journey of Canada. That's what I'm going to call it. Uh, we'll start, again, from New York, and... We'll slowly we'll have to pro progress in many in some of the states in you. Uh, we'll start from New York. We'll probably end up find a Hancock Field this area, and then Hancock Field will go all the way up to uh, from Hancock Field. We'll go to uh, Hancock Field in Syracuse. We'll go to Niagara Airport. It's about 35 minutes out, you know, like, and then from Niagara Airport we'll go. We'll start into the Canadian side. We'll go to Montreal and stuff like that, and then we'll end. Uh, we'll end probably somewhere else. So journey, journey of Canada, Ontario. Like those areas that should be fun um, for the three Canadians. I will do it for those of you Europeans. I will do a journey to Europe eventually. I'm figure out when to do that. Probably gonna be in 2023. Um, if I'm not wrong, I actually end up doing the journey of Canada for it depends on that. But if I do the journey of Canada for a quick, oh yeah, that takes long, longer, than, if that takes quicker time than the U.S., it does. I don't know if it will, because the U.S. has a lot to cover, but if it does take quicker, then I will do that. And then I might be able to fit up, if it in, um, what? Years up. Why, it should be down? God, my landing gear should be up or down. It should be up. Tell me landing gear, landing gear, landing gear, landing gear, landing gear, landing gear. No. Alright. Oh no, I just put. Gear unsafe. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. God, we have an issue on board. It keeps on landing here. Let's go outside. My gear's broken. My gearbox is broke. Is it broken? No. And then you're apparently down. Okay, so the gear's not broken. It works. I don't know why it was complaining about landing here, but I guess I'm gonna fly an external view for a little bit. Nice ball.
We're gonna start in uh, Boston Airport soon. So, Jake, by the way, have one flight video just so that you're wondering. Um, and they're gonna fly into Providence, Rhode Island, too. So, just reaching Boston is like an access point just to make life easier for me. About where we were coming from, honestly, at this point. It's been a while since I've recorded here in the USA, so. I brought where even where even we were coming from. So. We might have to back in New York eventually. I'm, I'm just telling you guys, we might have to back eventually in New York for a journey to the USA. No guarantees, but. I, I feel like we're gonna have to touch down in New York. Oh wait, we're coming from Maine. I remember now. We we're coming from Maine. We yeah, we did Portland, Maine. I remember that was a long episode. I remember we did Portland, Maine. Long episode meaning adventure. Like I know we did Portland, Maine for sure. And then I forgot where we were coming from, but I remember I was having trouble landing the A320 in uh, Manchester for sure. We definitely flew the A320 into Manchester because it's not gonna work. And it, it fails, so I have to do three go-arounds. I'm not going to do many spoilers, but we had a harder time landing in uh, Manchester. With with this aircraft, I, I practiced landing there a little while ago just to make sure I knew how to fly this. And put the landing to be in all. So I just practiced with this. And with this aircraft, I was able to land in like two minutes easily. Like it, I didn't even use two feet of runway, and it just stopped smoothly, so... Hopefully I can show the same thing I did with you guys. Hopefully I can do that here in the game. I sure right now here in the video I sure hope so, but no guarantees as my landings usually fluctuate between good and bad as uh, I'm not a very good pilot at all. Uh, but I feel like Journey to the USA is gonna be fun for you and me, not only just me but you as the viewers. So Journey to the USA is Thing that I just wanted to really do, I wanted to fly around the U.S. We will be doing Canada, and, ev and eventually we will be circumnavigating the world. Um, eventually, that's gonna take a little while. So I'm gonna have to do many, very, very short flights, which is gonna take a while. But eventually, my next adventure is gonna be circumnavigating uh, the world. Um, I know I, I people have done it in real life, but I really want to do it in uh, game life. But I'll have to, I'm gonna fly to Denver, uh, Denver, which is a longer flight, so I'm gonna have to split up many cities. 15 mile Boston approach and a stop for I'm hoping to show off a butter landing. No guarantees, though, as I said earlier. No guarantees of a butter landing, but. I'll see what I can do uh, with that, but again, my try is to do a butter landing to Boston. Eventually, we will be doing a journey around, like, the Euro Europe, we'll be doing a journey around countries. Um, like, Europe, I'm going to have to do a journey around countries, because there are so many, so I can't, like, so Europe, I'm going to do, I'm going to start in, like, Italy, and then go to Malpensa, go to all the airports in Italy, like, just... Just have fun with it a little bit. I'll have to figure that out, how that's going to work, honestly. Um, but we'll see what happens. It, it, all minutes, it's going to be a while, but we'll see what happens. Um, so. I'm still too fast. I'm still too fast to land. I'm going to need flat. There we go, it's flat turn. I'm way too fast to land right now. I don't know my landing speed. I think it's like 150 or something with this TBM, but... Sorry, Dasher, I don't know why I keep calling it TBM. I believe it's also TBM Dasher. I'm not sure. I can check for you. Yeah, it's just TBM 930. Or TBM Dasher, but... I'm gonna try this aircraft, fly this aircraft to the best of my ability. Uh, I'm gonna try to land this aircraft to the best of my ability. Uh, my first landing in Boston with this, so if you think I've flown this aircraft before into Boston, I haven't. Just out of Manchester and into Manchester, off video just for practice. Whoa, turbulence! 
just for practice uh, purposes only. Like, I was just trying to get practice up with it, so was it for real any other purpose was just to get extra practice because any extra practice in the TPM you can get the better off you are it's not a very easy aircraft to fly so after upgrading from an icon this is a much nicer aircraft uh, I'm gonna upgrade to CJ4 King Air eventually but right now we're sticking with the Grand Caravan because I know it I can fly it in the game and yeah I've never flown it in real life for those of you asking that question Pause that question. I have never flown it in real life, and I probably will never fly it in real life. Uh, but yeah, for those of you that were old, trying to say I have you flown it in real life, the answer is no, and the answer will always be no unless I decide to. But I might decide to later. FYI, I might fly it later. Um, In real life, but I've never flown this aircraft in real life. Just like, no, I've never flown out of Manchester Airport in real life either. So, I, I'm pushing my limits because I don't know the runway setup. So, I don't know what runway is set up for landing in Boston. The only airport runway setups I know are Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo, and New York. That's and Miami. Those are all. Those are all the runway setups I know. Like, I don't know Boston. I don't know. Uh, any main, like, I don't know a lot of aircraft runway setup, so I have no clue whether they'll fly in or fly out. I think that's a runway, I'm not sure, but this is a, no, I'm not sure, so I'm not gonna do it. Um, I feel like I'm way too high though to be landing in Boston, but we'll see. Actually, I'm not too hard about, I just need to look too down. I want to say that's the runway though, like across, I don't want to fly and then have to miss it, so I'm just going to stick to the path. Which might tell me the same way, but I don't want to mess it up, so make sure it's still on though, we're not going to turn that off. We're clear guys, we are clear to land in Boston, so we should off. I don't want to increase airspeed, I don't want to increase altitude either, but we'll be okay I feel like I feel like we can land this and I'm ready to land this if I can get a runway and touch it down smoothly on the runway that's all I need all right guys I'll talk to you after we land in Boston good luck wish me luck in Boston dude why the Boston airport make it so hard oh shoot that's not even the runway I'm landing on oh oh no that is a runway that is a runway. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're all good, guys. I found the runway. We're all good. We're in for a Boston approach. Boston approach, guys. Here we go. Woo! I've never done this flap. No, no, we're good, we're good. Don't, don't, don't do flap. Don't do flap. We're good, we're good, we're good. Leave it, leave it. It's gonna be a harsh landing, though. I'm terrible. I mean, my airspeed's way too high. I, okay, I had to. Oh shoot, guys. I know I shouldn't have. Throttle down, no problem. I had to, guys. I guarantee you it's not going to work this time. Well, it has to, but I guarantee you I was way too uh, high on airspeed. Looking good. I know in real life you wouldn't do this, obviously, but it's a game, guys. It's a game. Come on. You can't give me a harsh time for a landing that I don't need to control. This is actually decent. Three, two... One, air brakes, air brakes, air brakes. Three, two, one, smooth. Show me butter. I've done better, but I will take that. I will take that all day, guys. I've done way better. I've done worse. Give me that all day. Yes, we did that, guys. Woo! Now I just gotta hope she starts up again. <laughs> I knew it was a wise decision to cut the throttle. What I didn't know is I thought I cut it at the wrong time. What I didn't know is I cut it at the right time. Let's go to our gate, uh, parking spot. I'm going to talk it to this one, guys. He did it. <laughs> what a landing. It was bumpy. <laughs> Alright, but it was worth it, guys. I knew it. Taxi to general aviation parking via taxiway golf 
I broke my rudder though. Right. Right Bravo, I don't know, it's okay. It's, it's actually decent. My rudder works. All good. So remember to shut off our engine before we uh, leave. So, uh, you know. That was a terrible runway, though, landed. That was horrible on my end. I mean, I could have done better, but there was not much I could do about that except follow the path. But I realized the path would take me in a longer approach, and I didn't want to do that right now, so. It's okay. We are in Boston, which is what matters. We're in one piece. This aircraft is clear to fly to Rhode Island. I already fired that, filed that flight plan into Boston, but. They're not going to approve it until uh, I landed here. So now I'm going to check my flight plan database and just to make sure it's clear to go real quick before I even take off next time. Because if it's not clear, I'm going to get uh, one game player assessment in one week. So I'm not going to be able to play um, for one week. I, I need my Microsoft told them to put it in my game. They gave me a file to put it, so I put it in on my end, but I did file it in and then you... So you're getting that so normal, I just followed it in, so. It's gonna give me a one week suspension if I don't, um, file a flight plan and then pick up, make, don't make sure it's approved, and, yeah, they're not gonna approve it until I land it, but they said I still file it within 24 hours of departure, and it is within, by the time I record this, it will be within, what, 24 hours of departure, which at that point, all I need, so at that point, Within try four hours of departure, I can, um, I can file it in after three four hours, so I don't have to file it in 12 hours is the maximum, so it should try to four and 12 hours. I do not say, oh, that's my A320, by the way, if you're wondering how to, that, that's my A320, I landed here off camera. Yeah, that, that is my A320, I left here stranded. If you guys are wondering what, why isn't it in Manchester, it's I flew it to Boston. So I flew it to Boston where I picked up this aircraft. Man, I flew it to Boston and then I picked up this aircraft from Boston to Manchester to get US set up. So I flew it out of Boston in this air the aircraft, but I've never landed in Boston with this aircraft. I don't know the Boston runway setup very well, but I should, so. Yeah, Icon is a nice story to fly, by the way. If you're either wondering to do hate the Icon, the answer is no, I don't. But the answer is yes, I do at the same time. But the Icon is a very nice plane to fly, and I like it. But it both have their advantages and disadvantages. Advantage of this one, it's bigger, it's nicer to fly. Disadvantage of the other one, it's bigger, it's smaller, it's harder to fly. Arguably, you could say that. I'm going to try to see if I can get you guys in. Internal view showcase mode, so you guys know what it looks like inside this aircraft. But I don't know that they have it, which is sucks. I want it, but I don't think they have it. They might though. Actually, I'm not sure, but we're holding it out. I'm not sure they'll have it, but no, they disabled it. All right, let's go back to. They got rid of it apparently, so they don't have that view anymore, which is fine, it's okay. So let's get out of here and uh, out of here and then let me share with you the next plan and what it takes to set up. Now we're gonna come in which ramp was it? This? Yeah, it was this ramp. Oh they make you do a sharp turn in this ramp. Wow. Break, break, break. Dude, why is it so hard to turn in? Go around. It did just reroute it. No, okay. Now my plane isn't turning. Perfect. Now I'm gonna force it to turn. Now it's on. Stop! Oh, it's gonna do a spin a wheelie. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I guess we'll turn it in.
Wrong timing. I taxi it to its destination, it's all good. It can be a credit still. All right, guys, welcome on board. We are here to Boston Airport. So, let me show you guys my next plan. Uh, it's the other thing that could do it like crazy. I know I hit continue. I didn't need to. I'm gonna hit uh, main menu now. Let me show you guys my next plan. So, let me call South Manchester, Boston. Now we're gonna be a list of prom. Then, so I don't know the airport code. So let me sit back there actually because I don't know the airport code. So I'm gonna hit the airport code and then keep it going. So. From Boston. Why is it 84 miles? So I search airports in about, um, uh, well, uh, Oh shoot. It, okay, it reached out my games. Of course, you guys can't see it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.